my girls. Best friends forever. Whoa! Good morning, everybody. Girls, whose birthday is it today? Daddy. Oh. Daddy. And what'd you get from the girl? Dada. Dada. Yes. Dada. It was a great card. Dada. Daddy loved it. Dada. We got our coffee going, our anthro fall diffuser blend going, and I am about to start packing because we're actually going to go to Legoland for one night tomorrow. Um, we were going to go look a little bit earlier, but they weren't open. So we just booked the hotel and now we realized the park is still not open, but the aquarium is. So we're going to just go to the aquarium for the day and then spend the night and then hang out at the pool the next day. So it's kind of like for Andrew's birthday and just to do something, get out of the house. So I'm going to pack our stuff up today and our countertops were installed last night. So I'm going to insert clips of like before footage. Okay, so here is the status of our kitchen right now. They took out the countertops and the backsplash. We have our new sink installed, but it's not working obviously because we don't have a faucet. So the kit, oh, also we have extended the island. So that was kind of a last minute decision. We ended up needing three slabs of quartz instead of two. So we thought we might as well use it, you know, and extend the countertop a little bit. I think it went to about here before. So we got over a foot of space and I just think it fits a lot better in here. And then we had these made, <clears throat> these legs to go. So we're gonna do four stools. We'll do one on either side and two over here and we can slide them all in and it won't take up any space. And so we had it measured to be, it's a little less than, er, no, I think it's the same as that side, but the wall comes out a little further. So it just looks really, really nice to me. And I feel like it fits the kitchen a little bit more. It just looks like it's meant to be that size. And I also think it adds a little bit more character to it. I really like the little molding down there. We tied that in to the range hood. So, oh, also the oven is all taken out. So we've had no oven, no stove top, no sink for, I'm trying to think when they did all of this for some time. So we've just been doing paper plates as much as we can just to not have to worry about stuff. And then we've been using the food that you can microwave pretty much only or stuff that's in the fridge. So it has, been interesting but it hasn't been awful to be honest like it's not it hasn't been that bad and the tile for the backsplash is still in the mail so I ordered that a couple days ago I could have ordered it a while ago but I don't know why I was just kind of waiting to kind of see where we were at with everything and the one I actually wanted was so expensive because it was marble I didn't realize how expensive it was gonna be it was like six grand I could not believe it so I found one on Wayfair. I'll link that down below for you guys if you want to see what it looks like. And it was so much less expensive. I think it was, I'm trying to think how much it cost. It wasn't even a thousand. So much more affordable. Um, so next time I pop on here, we will have countertops. Dun, 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 dun. Counters are in and I couldn't be any more pleased, honestly. Oh my goodness. It just looks so much better. So just imagine all the cabinets painted white, the same color as those built-ins. And then the range hood, that'll all be white. And then the bottom of it will be stained the same wood color as the mantle. So it'll just kind of tie both spaces together. So they're quartz. And I wanted quartz with a lot of veining because before we had quartz counters, and I think it was quartz, this was all white, but it was very like spotted white, and then this was brown. So I just wanted something with a lot of pretty gray veining throughout it. We love quartz, we had it in our old house. It's so durable, you don't have to worry about sealing it or having it get stained. And then what we did actually is we had the um, this part thicker. So here's actually how thick that piece of stone is. And then th imagine this up like this flat and then they matched it and pulled that down. You can see the seam right there. 
and it's just they did such a good job like matching everything up and i think making it look thicker really just makes it look a little bit more grand in here i just think it really looks awesome one more step um and here's the sink it's a little bit more clean before it was a little messy so we're gonna have the faucet installed this monday which i'm very excited about because we haven't had water in a while so we've been washing dishes outside oh and this so we had a windowsill made i think that looks so cool and it finishes off the whole kind of sink window area and it'll look really cute with some stuff up on it. I can link this sink for you guys. It's pretty much the same sink we had in our last house. It's cast iron though. I think our last one was porcelain because when they were installing it, they said this one was much heavier than our one in our old house. So I think the other one must have been porcelain. I don't know, but this I definitely know this is cast iron. It's the same size though. Where's Hulk? Where's your Hulk? Does he go rah rah rah? I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh my goodness, whoa. Whoa. That's so sweet. I think we need to change Owen's diaper. Thanks. Oh. He was rocking back and forth. Owen, can you rock? Owen. Okay. Oh, where's Pebbles? Hmm. There she is. Oh, let me see. Okay, keep going. Oh. I just put on some tanner on my body because I feel so pale. I just actually finished it all up. This is what I use by Loving Tan. So you leave it on for two hours and then you rinse it off. We're having some lunch and Owen, his legs don't fit in the high chair. Like I have to squeeze them down. So I don't know how much longer we're gonna be in this high chair for. He tries to climb up anyway, out anyway. So let me know if you guys have any ideas for something he can sit in because the girls were in their high chairs for a long time. We are having some microwave. Um, we're having a microwave pasta because no oven. So I got these. You want more? Oh, you're hungry. Okay. Um, I got these at Sprouts. So I'm going to make another one of these for them. Poured myself some coffee. It's fully melted now, the ice. And the girls are just doing some coloring for dad. Violet made him a rainbow. And June is making water and rainbow. to get to and some Instagram content that I had to film. So our house is really messy right now, but that's not my priority right now. I just have a lot of things on my to-do list that I gotta get done while the kids are sleeping. So I'm gonna keep on going. Owen is probably gonna wake up pretty soon. So then when everybody wakes up, we're going to go and get ready, get in the car and bring Andrew coffee. And then I also have some more content that I have to film in the car. So a lot to do today. Owen is awake. Watching some Blippy, the one show he likes. How's Blippy? You like him? It's so nice. Oh, Junie just got up. It's so nice because all of my decorations now match the island. 
So I was looking at Pinterest for some ideas on island decor and I love the look of a big vase. So I really like this one. I got this at a little boutique shop here, but um, I think I kind of want one that I can do plant. I mean, I could do plants in this too, but I'm thinking maybe just like a more, I don't know, maybe this one is cute. Let me know what you guys think. It's hard to without the um, kitchen done <laughs> and everything. I also like to have a bowl so you can do some fruit and I can even just like to fruit around there too. So I think that's kind of cute. I'll leave it like that for now. We just went to take photos and then we went to Starbucks and we got Andrew some coffee and we got cake pops and I'm exhausted and starving right now. Look, a freaking swamp monster. You saw one outside? Yes, it made a swamp trail. It made a swamp trail? Yes. Is it scary or nice? It's kind of a girl. Oh, it's a girl. It's a girl swamp monster. Right, I'm having a snack. So I'm using paper plates, so I'm having leftover pepper, some hummus, this is the organic hummus from Trader Joe's, and some crackers. I love this Simple Mills sun-dried tomato kind, they're so yummy. Okay, and can I just stop and say I love being able to film all this on this countertop. I'm sorry, I'm going to say this a lot over the next couple months until I'm used to it. Okay, it is almost 5 o'clock, and I feel like once we hit 5 o'clock, it is downhill from there. So. Any other moms out there, let me know what like time of evening you have to hit when you're just like, all right, count down to bedtime, right? The down below, oh yeah, we need a top and a bottom part. Well, don't you want one that matches together? Look, you're there. Do you want to wear blue or yellow? But I want to keep these. I know, but we got to pack them in our suitcase, okay? Okay. So which one would you like to bring? Blue? Yellow? Which one? So we need some jammies. I got Owen's stuff right here. Okay. I want to show you guys, I restyled this up here after we painted it. The hardware is still not on. <clears throat> Andrew, talking to you. <laughs> so I put a couple books there, <clears throat> leaning against the wall with this little ceramic vase. Got a frame there and there. And then I found this at a little um, like antique shop in town. And then this too, I got it at the same place. And then I just got this made from Vistaprint. It's a canvas and I love it so much. It's with our Christmas photos. We took them early this year and I just love how they came out. I wanted them to be not really like Christmas themed. I wanted them to be neutral. 
for this use so I could put them around our house. And we got so many cute ones. I'm so excited to share them all with you guys. But I like this one here just because it's not like super, you know, us just smiling. Like this one, how we're just like smiling at the camera. I just wanted one that was like a little bit more just natural in nature. So I think that's really cute there. So we're just packing right now. I'm gonna, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can finish packing and then once Andrew goes home, oh, I'll just be with him and just hang out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me there because I will probably be posting sneak peeks of our kitchen here and there and I'm at with Kendra. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you very soon, bye.